are some people, the natural complainers, that complain all the time. We know we always win by agreeing with them. You do, you win. We've got enough time to do it. If the passenger starts complaining to you and gets you ruffled and all the rest of it, they will carry on doing that. But all the time they do it and don't get you ruffled, eventually they'll stop. They just get and, and, and this I can say by experience. Yeah. You mentioned one just now. And she's called me all the names of the son, not to my face, you know. I never had a mother and father, or never had a mother and father, but still. She's had seven tables. Seven now. Yeah, seven <laughs> going all the way to Los Angeles. <laughs> the people next to her wouldn't talk to her because, quite frankly, her language was something to be desired. But we can't do anything about that. <laughs> no. So how do you set about handling them? I mean, you know, people come in. You're, you're pretty severe with them. I've seen you operating, actually. You don't stand any nonsense. I detect that. You get a, you've got a reign of terror going quickly. So. No, no, it's not reign of terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did. Uh... No, no, no. Well, I, 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 yes, I suppose um, you, you, well, you have to control it. This, this you must do. And, and, and truthfully, I suppose one of the hardest days that we have at sea is sailing day. And sometimes we get a sailing day and a docking day together. It's no good. And that is when you are giving the people their seats. Because this is a sort of stage, isn't it, really? And you, you, you set the scene. And you're the performers, really. Oh, yeah. This is part of their day. This is what the people are there for, and everybody's watching you. And so you, you have to give your all. It's no good. Just, you know, coming to work and think, no, I don't feel like it. It's you, you can't do it. It's oh, mm. it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yes, yes. There we are. Thank you. Right, gentlemen, just one or two small points for you. This soft, fresh fruit that's coming on board, it is for the passengers' use. It comes in the fruit bowls. It stays in the fruit bowls for the passengers. If you require it, you can get it from the kitchen. You've only got to see the fruit man for it. And the same with the desserts. The vanilla slices lunchtime run out. Because you fellows had all noshed them beforehand. Now, Mr. Norton has some disturbing news for you. Right. <laughs> Gentlemen, I can remember when this restaurant was made up of men. Now, <laughs> but sadly for one of us, here tonight, it's all over. <laughs> And the person that's been caught, finally, yeah. is Carl Hutchinson. Yeah. Our sincerest good wishes for tomorrow and his wedding day. Carl. Yeah, yeah. Like any other closed community, the QE2 lives through light and shade the happy events and the fights in those flashpoint kitchens. But through it all, she moves serenely across the water like a swan, gracious and effortless. That, of course, is above the surface. Below and out of public sight, there's some furious pack. So that passengers may live in elegant calm, the crew must strive endlessly in their various ways. Thank you. 